Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com. And today I'm gonna to be comparing the language programs from Michelle Thomas and Rosetta Stone, two language apps that we've used pretty extensively. Just as a quick note here before diving right in, since this is just a video and I'll just be covering the major highlights, if you want more information about these two language apps at any point, we have a full detailed written comparison of these two over on our website. The easy way to get there is just to Google, Test Prep Insight, Rosetta Stone versus Michelle Thomas. It's a quick way to get more info. Okay, so to start, let's quickly cover pricing. So Rosetta Stone offers three different subscription plans, a three month package for $36, 12 months for $144, or a lifetime membership, which includes access to all languages, not just one. That goes for around $300. However, those are just the full retail prices and Rosetta Stone is really aggressive with their deals and discounts. And most of the time you can find the 12 month subscription for around $95 and the lifetime package for $180. Now, Michelle Thomas, on the other hand, does things a little differently. They sell courses individually that range from $12 all the way up to $100. For example, their intermediate Spanish course, which consists of 20 hours of content, costs $90. Or you can purchase an entire Michelle Thomas language bundle for around $275. So all in all, Rosetta Stone is the more affordable option between the two. Some of the one-off Michelle Thomas packages can be found for cheap, but in looking at full language bundles, Rosetta Stone definitely has a clear pricing edge, especially when you can get that lifetime plan on sale for $180. That's a solid value. And again, Rosetta Stone has discounts going really frequently, so do make sure to look for codes. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description below updated with the most current discounts and coupon codes that I can find floating around out there. So give that text below the video screen a good look before buying. You should be able to save at least 40% with Rosetta Stone. Okay, so with pricing out of the way, let's cover the major reasons to use Rosetta Stone over Michelle Thomas, and then we'll flip it around and do the other way. And let's start with Rosetta. So the first reason that I think anyone should use Rosetta Stone is that it's the better option for visual learners. Their lessons are packed with images, while the Michelle Thomas lessons are purely audio-based. There are literally no images at all in the Michelle Thomas program, while every single Rosetta drill contains some sort of visual. So if you're the type of person who learns best by making mental connections between vocabulary you're learning and specific pictures or images, then Rosetta Stone is gonna be a good fit for you. Then second, another clear highlight of the Rosetta Stone program is their core structure. For one thing, everything is organized in a very neat and easy to follow manner. There are 20 units in the entire program, each based on a thematic topic, and then four lessons within each of these units. It's very straightforward. But more importantly, I love how Rosetta Stone lessons build on one another. Not only do individual lessons build on each other within each unit, but even the units themselves build on one another. As you get further into the course, the units become more advanced and pull in material from earlier units, which gives the Rosetta Stone program a very natural and progressive flow. Not all language learning apps are like this, especially Michelle Thomas, and I was a big fan of this aspect. Then the third reason to go with Rosetta Stone is if you want feedback on your pronunciation during verbal practice exercises. Basically, if you want to perfect your pronunciation, Rosetta Stone is the way to go because of their speech recognition technology. With Michelle Thomas, there is no speech recognition software. Their program is pretty dated in that respect, and it's basically up to you to figure out whether you're pronouncing words and phrases correctly. So really, to me, this is an easy win for Rosetta Stone. They just have a major leg up when it comes to tech. And the last major advantage for Rosetta Stone that I want to call out is all of the extra resources and tools that they offer. Their Stories feature is a particularly good example, and I was personally a huge fan of this tool. Essentially, for every unit that you complete, there are these stories which are sort of like mini podcasts, and you digest them in three different ways. You read it, it's read to you, and then you read it out loud. These short stories drive home what you just learned in the lessons while also improving your reading, speaking, and listening skills. Plus, they're just a nice change of pace from the standard Rosetta Stone drills. And beyond the stories, Rosetta Stone also gives you phrase books, on-demand video lessons, and audio companion lessons. Those were actually some of my favorites. Those audio companion lessons basically synthesize each lesson down into a single 10-minute audio recording, and I thought they had a major impact as a capstone to each core lesson. But anyway, that's where I like Rosetta Stone better. So now let's turn the tables and cover the major reasons to go with Michelle Thomas. And number one is the fact that the Michelle Thomas lessons are 100% audio based and definitely favor auditory learners. Unlike the image heavy Rosetta Stone lessons, the Michelle Thomas lessons show precisely zero images, which might not sound ideal, but if you're an auditory learner that learns best via listening rather than reading, writing, or seeing, which a lot of people do, then there is a lot of benefit to this. Okay, reason number two is somewhat personal preference. So the Rosetta Stone program relies really heavily on immersion. 
In other words, there is very little use of English directions or translations. You have to seek these features out and turn the functionality on within the program. Basically, by default, Rosetta Stone gives you very little English. Now, in contrast, the moderator of the Michelle Thomas lessons is consistently speaking English. Honestly, it's almost too much talking in my opinion, but the use of English guidance definitely helps to move things along and reduce frustration. Ultimately though, it just depends on what you're looking for. A lot of linguists recommend the immersion learning framework that Rosetta Stone uses, which really forces you to pick up the language based on visual cues, repetition, and your own intuition. However, other people like the use of English directions and translations because they get frustrated easily. It just depends what you're looking for. And lastly, I know I just said a minute ago that the moderators of the Michelle Thomas lessons have a tendency to talk too much, but I do have to say that they do a nice job of breaking down complex grammar principles into short, understandable explanations. In other words, they make boring grammar instruction really easy to digest, and I like that a lot. All right, so time for my final verdict. But before I get to that, I should just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. Super simple dinner. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free subscription to Rosetta Stone or Michelle Thomas. Okay, which language program should you choose? Well, after testing each one, I think Rosetta Stone is the way to go. Between the visual component of the Rosetta Stone lessons, their true accent speech recognition technology, the progressive flow of their program structure, and all of the extra resources and tools that they provide, I just think Rosetta Stone offers the more complete and effective language learning courses. To be totally honest, I wasn't a big fan of the Michelle Thomas method. If you are more of an auditory learner, you might want to consider Rocket Languages or Pimsleur over Michelle Thomas. That's just my two cents. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about both of these language programs. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full, detailed, written comparison of these two language apps that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos we have on our YouTube channel. We got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.